Somebody clip that right now. That was ridiculous. Hey, what up, everybody? This is Izonk. Thanks for tuning in. A couple of weeks ago, I put on a poll on my community on YouTube asking you guys after I made the Laura video, what characters should be next? What character do you guys want some matchup options against? And y'all voted for Bison, so sorry to keep you waiting. Been kind of busy in a private life, having other things to do, but that's all right. I want to thank you guys for getting me over 800 subs and over 100,000 views. Let's go into this video. Have a look at Bison. Now, the first thing by you need to know about Bison is he has a lot of approach tools, right? He can dash, he has an invincible dash, he can use his scissors that are minus two on block, EX is even plus on block, he has the devil reverse, he has the head stomp. So what I did here, I recorded the Bison dummy to do all these different options, and I'm just gonna counter them on reaction. And you just have to trust me that I don't really know what sequence I recorded them in. I didn't even record this on the same day as I did the video. So this is all reactionary. Now the dash, you can just jab that. As soon as he goes purple, you gotta mash that that uh, light punch target combo. Against the scissors, you can take your turn. EX scissors, you gotta block. And when he does the aerial approach, you can just anti-air that. Just make sure that you're doing it a little bit delayed. Because if you do it too soon, you're gonna get hit. Because he comes down very slowly. Just take your turn. Block. That's plus one on block. Yeah, you can anti-air that and I'll show you what, what happens if you do it too early. See, you'll get hit. So you have to delay that a bit. And when he does head stomp, you can just, just block, man. It's alright. You're even plus 10. You see that? after I didn't even know that. After blocking it, you're plus 10. So you can even take your turn again. I didn't even know that. So what you'll see when you're a bronze, silver, gold, platinum player, low diamond as well. A lot of these bison players, they don't like blocking. That's why they play bison. And they do the same thing over and over. So I'm going to go through some situations that you're going to recognize. Here's the bison back throw. After that, he does down forward heavy punch. You'll get crunch countered if you press anything. Uh, you are minus two, I think. Minus two if you block it. So you gotta V shift that. And when you V shift mid screen, you just gotta use the V break. So that's only half a bar for 60 Y health. So that's good. But when he does it in the corner, you can completely mole him. Because you are plus 10 there. And in the corner, he's gonna be close to you. Use your biggest punish. Doesn't matter who you play, biggest punish. Plus 10, you gotta destroy him there. Now the Psycho Blast. Uh, he has three different versions, light, medium, and heavy. Uh, light is minus two, medium minus one, and heavy is plus. Plus two, I think. Yeah, plus two. Uh, so, buy some players, they want to steal their turn. They're going to try to use the heavy one, right? And the good thing to know here is that if you mash uh, during the string, uh, between the last cancelable button and the Psycho Blast, it doesn't come out unless it's the heavy one. So, you can use the V-Skill one here. Yeah, I did Light Punch, that'll trade, that's a 4 frame that trades, but Cody doesn't have a 3 frame, but he does have the V skill, 1 and 2, so you can mash it during the block string, and it'll only come out when he uses the heavy one, and it's gonna beat him. So the game is not which Psycho Blast does he use, the game is, are you gonna do something dangerous like V skill, or are you gonna keep blocking? That's the mini game that's being played here. So if you play a bison and they use this every time, maybe after like three or four times, you can press that V skill and you can knock them off of you. Now in the corner, bison players are going to use the EX head stomp because this can actually switch sides and this has some invincibility. So what you want to be doing here is keeping your strings tight. I advise you to use that crouching light punch three times and then use the medium ruffian. But I mean, if you're feeling confident and you see the counter here, you can react. You can go for the crouching medium punch. And if you're feeling really balls, you can go for standing heavy punch there for max damage. Me personally, I just go for three crouching light punch and just knock them down, keep the momentum. Now, the V skill 2, this is something you're gonna see a lot if you're like below diamond. This is all a gimmick, this is so slow. It's plus on block, so you don't wanna be blocking this. 
if you throw in a tornado and he does it simultaneously, you're gonna get hit. But other than that, in neutral, you should never get hit by that. You should practice this. Mash that four framer, and if you're feeling confident, you can start using your mediums. Because this is like 20, 25 frames even. This is very reactable on a lot of different levels. Now, then we have the slide. The slide is very negative, of course. Minus 12, I think. But the better he spaces it, the less minus it is. So, for me personally, I've tried punishing this with medium kick and getting blocked because they spaced it too well. So, I just use crouching light punch into target combo there. I'm not gonna go into the V-triggers too much. Just the V-trigger too real quick because that is a command grab and when you're glowing purple, uh, you should keep blocking because he's gonna do scissors that is minus, but then he'll explode to steal his turn again. It's gonna end bad for you if you mash. Now, this is a match where I'm gonna, uh, spoiler, I'm gonna lose to uh, Problem X, best bison in the world. Let's just have a look at the things he's doing and see if even a great player like him uses these bison strategies. So that's the Psycho Blast on hit. V reversing is always a good idea against Bison, it keeps your momentum. And you should V reversal either specials or heavy buttons. Doing it on heavy buttons that are plus on block is ideal of course, but sometimes I even do it on something where I'm like minus two because these scissors, if he spaces them well, they become spacing traps. It's more dangerous than it looks. This is plus six on block, you gotta, you gotta block that. Walk to him and block it. Take your turn. Jumping against uh, Bison players is not a bad idea. That crouching heavy punch anti-air is not great. It's slow, it has no invincibility. So Bison players are situational anti-air users. They have a target combo in the air that's also pretty good, but they have to really anticipate the jump. That crouching medium kick, really good against my dash and walk back. Yeah. That's the crush counter. I delay tech there. Bison has excellent uh, delay tech options to blow you up. Yeah, that's the crouching heavy punch anti air. You're weak, pathetic. Weak. All right, last round. Final round. Fight. That's the V skill one. Absorbs projectiles and he can shoot it back at an incredible pace. And it causes a Joe state. So yeah, I see you can get combo into that. So, I'm gonna keep my space here, put some pressure on him. That stand heavy kick of uh, Cody's minus four. Problem X punishes that every time because he's just a good player. But you can get away with that in other ranks. Also, if you notice there, I got a jump in on him. And that's because when he commits the heavy buttons, he cannot recover in time to end air. Now look how it ends. Yeah, that was a pretty amazing play by an amazing player. This shit happens, right? I hope this guide found you helpful. Let me know in the comments if there are any other characters that you struggle against. Subscribe to the channel for more content and I'll talk to you in the next video, alright? Peace, enjoy EVO.